When cyanide enters the body, the reaction is shockingly fast, so fast that most people don't realize what's happening until the damage has already begun. Unlike toxins that irritate the stomach or burn the throat, cyanide moves silently. It slips into the bloodstream and heads straight for the one thing every cell depends on, oxygen. Inside your cells are tiny energy factories called mitochondria. Their job is to turn oxygen into usable energy, powering everything from muscle movement to thought. Cyanide attacks these mitochondria by blocking the enzyme that allows oxygen to be processed. Your cells suddenly have oxygen but can't use it. It's like cutting the power to a whole city while the fuel is still sitting in the tanks. Within seconds, energy production collapses. The brain, your most oxygen-hungry organ, starts to lose function first, leading to confusion, dizziness, and rapid loss of coordination. The heart strains as it tries to pump harder, but without energy, it can't keep up. Every system in the body begins shutting down, not because oxygen is gone, but because cyanide prevents the body from using it. There's no benefit to cyanide exposure. It provides nothing useful to the body. Its power comes from the speed at which it blocks life-critical processes. But understanding how it works helps scientists create safety protocols, detect poisoning faster, and design better antidotes for emergency medicine. Cyanide's danger lies in its silence. It doesn't destroy cells. It simply turns them off.